Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today, I want to uh, teach a little bit about what we discussed as a family this morning uh, during service. And um, we took it from several scriptures. But one of the key scriptures what we started off with was uh, the book of Numbers 23 verse 19 which says that God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent or change his mind has he said it and he will not do it or has he spoken it and he will not make it good in essence that scripture made one understand that if God utters a thing from his lips that that thing is the truth and if it is the truth uh, it, you are enjoined to believe truth so if he says something, that thing is. Now, we also got to learn that uh, it is impossible for God to lie. From one of the scriptures we read, it's impossible for God to lie. And another scripture was uh, where he talked about the immutability of God's word. Uh, Say by, by two immutable facts, two immutable things, his promise and his oath. He, he we, we can have confidence so when he gives just imagine if he gives you his word that word that cannot lie, cannot be a lie is truth and if he now backs it up with an oath oh my goodness so uh, on the basis of this we now went into the book of uh, mark chapter 11 from verses 22 to 24 and uh, Paraphrasing, Jesus answered Peter and said, have faith in God continuously or continually. So in essence, he was saying, trust God continually. This was with respect to the question Peter had asked him. Say, Master, how so, how so quickly this fig tree you cursed has, we, has withered away? And his response was, have faith in God continually or have confidence in God continually or trust God continually. Not a one-off experience, not a one-off thing. Continually. At the beginning, the middle, and the end of the process, keep trusting him. And then he said, verily or truly. Now, what, whatever God says, that is, if Jesus speaks, is God speaking. Whatever God says is the truth. Now, if he tells you, if the one that cannot lie tells you truly or verily, that is, he's swearing to you. It's an oath. So he's giving you two immutable facts there two immutable truths one his war his promise and the second one an oath verily i say unto you whosoever shall say unto this mountain to this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said remember he cannot lie so we've established that premise so if he cannot lie and he's tell, telling you this that if you trust him you believe when you speak that is because it's him who's going to carry who's going to give out that uh, command that order for the thing to be done and you don't doubt him yeah you just still trust you believe that it is happening it shall be done then he says that for this reason or because of this whatever you desire in prayer when whatever you desire when you pray believe that believe trust be confident that it is granted to you that it is granted, not it will be, that it is granted to you, and it shall be for you. If he that cannot lie is telling you this now, you can take that to the bank. Trust, be confident that it is granted. Not that it, it will be, but that it is granted to you. Glory to, glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 